Hey, all my IQ over 150 sys admins. Yes, I'm talking to all you guys. Got to be brilliant to be a sys admin. Hey, uh, I'm going to take you through using drill downs in building dynamic collections. Okay. Now, there is some confusion with this, so follow along and hopefully I'll make this all clear to you. First, let's just talk a regular dynamic collection. I built a dynamic collection and it's a really simple one. Now, granted, one there exists one in the collection library, but we'll use this one for our example. I'm looking for any machine that's got Firefox on it. Okay. Well, I pulled that, right? Now, I also built of that a sub collection looking for any machine that's got an old version of Firefox. In this case, it's a version older than version 75. Okay. So, also, I'm drilling down from the parent collection. Now, when I look at that, you'll notice I've got 20 machines with Firefox. And if I look at my Firefox old, 16 of them have an older version than 75. So here's where the confusion comes in, okay? Uh, if you look, I looked in this, the, the parent, I'm looking for anything that contains Firefox. In the sub, in this case, I also am looking for any machine with an application that contains Firefox. However, I'm also looking for a version lower than 75. Okay. Now this is a sub collection. What that means is this, this drill down from the parent collection is basically just stating, look, you know, we're going to look at those 20 machines that are in that parent collection. And of those 20 machines in the parent collection, which ones have Firefox version older than 72. Now where people get confused is, am I drawing on that filter from the parent collection? So if I take this filter out right here, the application name contains Firefox and I'm still drilling down from the parent computer, okay, or the parent collection, I give it an okay. Now where we had 16 of these or 16 of these before, when this updates, what it's going to do with this one to many collection is it's going to go, you know what, I'm going to look at all those machines, all 20 of those machines and do they have any software on them where the version is earlier, you know, lower than version 75. So it's any software. So again, we got all 20 of those machines because I'm sure every single one of those machines have got a version one or a version two of some software. So it didn't borrow the filter. All it did was look at those 20 machines. So that's why you have to include that application filter back here. Application name contains Firefox or Mozilla, Mozilla Firefox. Okay. And again, we go back now, we go back to our 16 machines that had there it is. Okay. An old version of Firefox. So it's a sub. It's just looking at the 20 from the parent collection, rerunning the filters. That's a one to many. Now on a one to one, you could say, well, let's look at our windows machines, you know, give me all the windows 10 machines and then have a sub that says 32 bit machines and a sub that says, you know, uh, 64 bit machines. You can do that. It's a one to one relationship. The other thing, if you want to look at like borrowing filters, okay, so let's say I built this uh, um, dynamic collection that pulls 80. These are the two machines that are in the Active Directory um, new computers OU. I can drag that Firefox old down to be a sub of that. And now when that updates, it's going to say, okay, here are the two machines that are left they're part of the new computers OU. Of those two machines that are in the new computers OU, only one of them, Mr. Meeks, has an old version of Firefox. So Allen Rails and Mr. Meeks. We look at Allen Rails, applications in Allen Rails. Allen Rails does happen to have version 75, and Mr. Meeks does not. So we're borrowing that filter, the OU filter, and looking at the machines in that and the sub of that. So again, here we go. Check it out. 68. So that's an instance where you can borrow a filter from another collection. So um, remember, here, here's the takeaway, right? Okay. When you were looking at a one to many, okay. Okay. The parent will limit the number of machines it looks at when it's a one to many, you need to make sure you carry that filter or at least the name, you know, the same filter, like we're looking at Firefox machines, carry that down along with your version. Okay. And if you're borrowing a filter, again, we're looking at a computer, o, you know, new computer OU, and then I drug the old Firefox into that. You can borrow the filter from above because it's only looking at the two that are already filtered. So that's when to use drill downs, when not to use drill downs. It can be a little confusing. 
You might have to play this twice, but that's how it's done, guys. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.